All right, this is uh, on how to uh, use a ProScan client to connect to my scanner. Go ahead and open up ProScan client. It's a free program. You can get this uh, over at uh, proscan.org. I'll try to put a link up under the video here. But the uh, first thing you want to do is when you open this up, you'll notice you have these four tabs uh, right here. And you need to come to uh, remote scanner over IP. There's a button here that says update. Go ahead and press that and you'll get a list of uh, online scanners that you can listen to. Um, you can sort these by just clicking. Uh, uh, you can do it by IP name or state, uh, description, whatever, however you want to sort it. Any one of those um, uh, things at the top there are clickable and it'll sort them by that. So right now I think uh, I'm uh, sorted by the state. So I'll come down here and I'll find the only one that says Kentucky. And that'll be my scanner. So all you do is you double click it. And if you look over here on the left after I double click it, it'll change these fields for you. Um, so here we go. Double click it and you'll notice it brings up my IP address of ak4fn.no-ip.org. Now you wouldn't even have to do this. You could just put this in there, and it all, and then uh, you wouldn't even have to hit the update or any of that. If you just put in ak4fn.noip.org um, and put in the server port of 9000. I also recommend to put on the auto restart and the hot event audio alert. Um, the hot event audio alert would be if I was to send an alert out. It'll allow you to know, hey, something big's happening. Be honest with you, I've never used that, but maybe one of these days I will. The auto restart will automatically start your uh, when you start ProScan. It'll automatically connect to my scanner, so you won't even have to fool with this after the first time of using it. Now I'm going to change it down to to my internal address. Uh, like I say, you'll you'll use the AK4FN, but uh, once you uh, have that all filled out, just hit start. And right away, it will start uh, listening to my scanner, and it's going to show you exactly what you're listening to. Uh, I have uh, what I listen to usually is uh, Kentucky State Police Post One and Post Two. Uh, living in where I live uh, in Fredonia here, I'm right I'm right on the border of Post One and Post Two, so I've got to kind of listen to them both. Uh, but as far as the counties that I mainly listen to, it's Caldwell County, Lyon County, and Critton County because I'm right, right on the edge of all three of those counties. So I listen to all three of them. And if something big goes on, I'm on Post One or Post Two, uh, Kentucky State Police. There, if they say something's happening in Graves, I, I will start listening to them and sometimes knock down the other, the other things if it, you know, if it. Something big's happening there, so that way I don't miss any of that detail. Uh, but it, it uh, this program works quite well, and you'll see exactly who's talking. So uh, it, it's not as as confusing when you're listening to it. It'll say, "Hey, you know, this is uh, Princeton Police," or um, you know, or or it's uh, or it's Catawba Fire Department. Now I do listen to the EMS, the fire, and the police of all three of those counties. Um, this button over here where you see the speaker icon, if you click that, it'll just mute it. Um, there's some other neat features about this. You can set this up to record. Uh, so say if you go to work and you wanted to leave this run connected to my scanner. My scanner runs 24-7. It's usually on all the time unless I have a power outage or something. Uh, but all you do is you hit this record button. It grays it. I recommend uh, having uh, it set up just like I have shown over here. Each transmission, new row, active row, and view, and skip silence. And uh, this is the threshold. I'd knock it down to about here, so that way uh, uh, it won't record dead silence error. It'll just skip it all. So uh, you just move this down. You'll see when somebody talks, it will uh, it'll light the bar up over in here. Of course, nobody's going to talk right now, 
But what's neat about this, say, uh, say you have company and you don't want it to be blaring through, but you still want to know what happened during the day, you can hit this mute button here. It will still record, and you'll be able to come back to it and listen to it uh, and, and hear it. Uh, uh, th this, but like I say, this will mute it so you don't have to listen to it while it's happening. Okay, I wanted to uh, give a little more detail on how to use the playback uh, on this after you record. Uh, once again, uh, you're going to want to go to the recording tab. And it's been recording. We can tell that because it's grayed out over here, the button is. And all these fields are uh, filled in here. And uh, what's kind of nice, if you wanted to listen to everything, you could hit this select all rows and just hit play. If you hit play, it'll just go ahead and uh, start playing them all. And it'll play them in the order that they're sorted. Right now, I have everything sorted by the end, end date and time. And you can see a little triangle. It's light gray right here. And uh, you can, and if I click the other way, it'll send or descend, depending on which way that arrow's going. Um, uh, you may not want to listen to everything. If you want to only listen to like your county, I'd suggest uh, come down here to the bottom, sliding over, go to the channel or the system group and channel, and you know, ascending or descending there. You can tell by the timestamp. Um, anyway, um, what you can do then, say you only want to listen to Cobble County, highlight the first one that where it starts, hold down your shift key, and then hi highlight the last one. Uh, depending on how many you have there, you may have to use your wheel and roll up. But now that all these are highlighted, you can just come over here, hit play. And it'll just start playing them uh, one by one in order, uh, depending on the order that you, if you had them ascending or descending. And it'll show you, you know, what the timestamp is right here, and if it's Princeton or whatever it is. Anyway, uh, it's a real nice feature. You can listen to the whole day events, a uh, matter of minutes usually. Uh, a lot of times you can skip through a lot of the stuff you don't like. Uh, you can just hit the next. So here we are playing. I don't want to hear that. You hit, hit next, 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 and you can just go to what you want to. Um, somebody comes home and say, "Hey, you know there was a fire at uh, right." I don't know. It was around you know noon. You can look for the timestamp and just go right to it and listen to it. Um, I usually leave leave this on the end time, but anyway, um, it'll sit there and record. Like say, uh, you. Um, can have the speaker muted and you don't even have to listen to it and just come back and listen to it.